We're live at New Sin Stadium in Nashville, home of the Lycans, where country music started. A uh, bit of trivia for you, Grim. Nashville has the lowest number of teeth per person. Whatever. Pain, suffering, humiliation, and possibly a conga line. This game's gonna have it all. The insane Colts go up against the Nashville Lycans. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> Hope you got your mutant tailgate buzz on. I know I did. The teams are revving up on the sidelines, and we are ready for some mutant football. Grim Blitzer along with Bricks and Bricks Jr. Yeah, Grim, I had a little eye open at myself at the mutant bloodmobile park next to the taco truck outside. Called a lobotomy shot. Raccoon rabies blood and red bull crap. Hoo-hoo. Yeah, I can tell your mouth looks like a hot shaving cream dispenser. Uh, uh, uh. Well, that play didn't work. We'll have to rethink that. <laughs> Second down and ten. And he's running like a moose right now. First down. Not going to drop that one. Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I got to see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they have raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. Catch. Chipping away with those medium passes, I like it. Like a patient prison break. Second down and two. This guy is running like an old guy looking for a bathroom. First down. It's first and ten. When defensive players go berserk, they've been known to rip the heads off of enemy players. And into the end zone for a touchdown! Once he got his hands on that pen, well, that's a strange penalty call right there. I'm starting to notice that this ref likes talking, and it don't make much sense. No, but he's making a lot of dollars. They're back up here on first, and the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. <laughs> first down in a mile. Pick the receiver's pocket and the defense get. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Second down in a lot. And he's running like a moose right now. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. I know how to said never hit a man when he's down. It's just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. And it's first and ten. First down! Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence. Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the MFL. First down and three. 
Picks up. Oh, mama. Just call him Cap and Crunch. Another one bites the dust. And that'll bring up second and one. And he breaks through for a touchdown. Listen to this crowd. Yay. <laughs> Should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. He's not going down. Leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? The so players have catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. First and ten. The quarterback has had enough and calls a murder ball dirty trick to lay waste. And like bricks his bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. Should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Team hates it. And it's first and ten. Oh. Oh. A good run for five yards. Hey, didn't move the change of score, did it? How good can it be? Second down and five. the ref, you idiot. Let's see what the penalty is. <laughs> Third down and long. And with another pick, the QB says, I don't know throw interceptions but when I yep. holy crap he runs straight into a mutant trap and dies reminds me of my breakfast cereal the old nut crunch first and eight to go point attempt. The kick is good. Yeah, as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the 
good kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't wrong in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Uh, good night to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? <laughs> Turner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. And it's first and ten. And that pass is good for about five yards. Second down and five. Punishing hit that one. And that's how you make a guy. Oh, holy smokes. He just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the MFL. Third down and eight. And that's perfect coverage. Nice deflection. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. Apparently, the punt of the day is being played by... They just let that one drop and played safe, and the defense says, we'll take it. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. He picks up nine yards on that catch. Third down and three. stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Ouch! That's gotta hurt. Man, those mutant traps will kill you faster than one of Brick's farts. First and ten. And he snags it for six. Touchdown! Touchdown! Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sit. And the easiest play in the league, and he chokes. Yeah, he's a choker. He's a midnight smoker. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and, uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. It's the end of the first quarter, and I just want to say that this is the ugliest thing I've ever seen. Other than my mother-in-law, of course.
And it's first and ten. Oh, the defender just knocked the ball loose. No, that'll wake you up and put you to sleep permanently. You snooze, you lose. Uh, unless you're in a sleeping contest. Second down and ten. Well, he made the pass, but then a slap in the face by the defense. Oh, that's me in the hotel bar every night. Hey, your opening line needs work. Why? Really? What's a pretty girl like you doing here all by yourself? Are you a hooker? And that one's incomplete. The receiver couldn't get there. And neither could his mother. And they'll line up for the punt here. The offense fakes the punch. And that's the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. And it's first and ten. And he just used his beast boost dirty trick, and there's no way to stop him. Unless, of course, you kill him. Wow, look at that freak go. He's unstoppable. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. Bricks. No little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! <laughs> and it's first and ten. And I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. You just... You just throw it to the guy, and he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. <laughs> and it's first and ten. He is rolling thunder, and he fumbles it, Bricks. That was a screwed-up play if I ever saw one. He said, they're gaining on him. Hey, come on, move your ass. I got a saw buck riding on this asshole. Touchdown! And he rips off a game-breaking run for the score. Okay, back Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called... Sick. And then, my friends, is why the world hates kickers. I kind of feel sorry for them. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Briggs. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. First and ten. And he snatches that one out of the air for a bingo! Bingo! I just hit that mutant bingo! And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays! Talk about luck! And it's first and ten. He's 
leaving a wake of destruction in his path. The offense lost another running back and only two remain on their roster. When a team loses all their running backs, they lose their ability to run the ball. Yeah, like if I rip out your tongue, you won't be able to speak. Tell us something we don't know, genius. Second down and six. Third down and the punter is warming up. Six-yard game there. That's a solid pickup. I wish people would do solid pickups more often. I step in dog turns on my front porch every day. Thank God he's still got his leg. He's going to need all of it for this kick. Well, surprise me. He made it look easy, and he gets three points for it. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. First down and forever. for eight yards. Second down and long. Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? Third down and, well, good luck. You can live with a freaky fast ham and sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? Yeah, I'm still working on my salami here, Bruce. Thanks. That's what she said. Nah. Nah. Didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. The offense is down to their last running back. When he bites the dust, they can only pass. Yeah, well, at least they don't have to forfeit, man. That's right, but now the defense can focus on killing the receivers. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It's good. They need a good return here to set up the offense. They're going to be able to return this one. And it's first and ten. And it's first and ten. We're at the two-minute warning, and we'll take a quick timeout. Graham, will you tell the interns to get us some Frank and dogs and a couple of beers? I'm dry over here. I'll take nachos and a scotch. Uh, looks like a pee for me, too. Perfect pass and the score! And that's quite a creative and intuitive dance he's doing. Hey, Grim, what do you call a wolf who was intuitive? I don't know, what? And a werewolf! <laughs> oh, man, I just cracked myself up. 
and they line up for the extra point. And this guy couldn't hit the side of a fallout shelter. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. And it's first and ten. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And they take their first time out. Uh, how predictable. Surprise us next time. Call the time out during halftime. And it's first and ten. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. At this rate, the QB is going to have more. Oh, what the brutal hit! <laughs> And it's first and ten. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All he needed is 77 to bite it. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally has Rick's match stupid time. That's why the girls called me Speedy Gonzalez. He had it for a second there. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense called, and he breaks away. And that is caught for a first down. Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore grin. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. Defense gets another pick. Man, rough day. Oh, mama. He just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. <laughs> and it's first and ten. And like a monkey trying to... Not much there. Maybe a yard. The defense calls timeout. They must be trying to get on their QB's good side. Second down and nine. Should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Straight through the uprights. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. This guy's a brick shithouse. 
Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. And he's off to the races. Bam. Oh, man, that's the end of his day. You may want to try hurling those traps next time. <laughs> Turner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. At the end of quarter two, it's a blowout. We now go to our halftime show sponsored by Monsatan Industries, makers of great killer products like Ground Up. Use it on pesky weeds or neighbors, and they'll be gone by morning. We're back for the second half in a blowout. The teams line up for the kickoff. What a game is this close as the score indicates. <laughs> <laughs> They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one time thing. Oh, man, Bricks, you gotta love a player who goes down fighting. The burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. And it's first and ten. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. And it's first and ten. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. And that's the kind of play you pay the secondary for. You pay him for the pick six. For this, you just give him a pat on the head and tell him they don't suck. Second down and ten. And another interception. This quarterback is going to listen to Joy Division. He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And it's first and ten. And that's a run for no gain. Then it's not really a run, is it? Second down and ten. God, I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. You just, you just throw it to the guy in the same color jersey as he broke free and has open field in front of him. I know I said never hit a man when he's down. He's just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. And it's first and ten. Back, my friend. 
Jones was an all-pro NFL hit with the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwong Galaxy phone. And it's first and ten. another turnover for the defense and that was a bone crusher right there folks and it's first and ten and he was stuck to him like glue Second down and ten. And the back gets in there and swats the ball away. He can't catch, but he sure can swat. Third down and ten. Cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so are the fans. And it's first and ten. He could go all the way. The 30. The tw Here comes the defense. And one saver there. First and two. Well, that was a good throw. Yeah, if he was aiming for the ground. Second down and two. And the quarterback throws another pick. He should have eaten his sleeties this morning. Oh, he just got popped big time. First and ten. First and ten. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it too. Second down and ten. Oh, he's going berserk. The ball carrier better watch out because if he gets hit, that ball is almost intercepted. down and ten. First down! I 
I've seen this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. He grabs it and picks up four on that reception. Second down and six. At this rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions than completions. Oh, with a punishing hit. Hmm. I don't remember that being an officially sanctioned NFL rule. First and ten. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. And it's first and ten. That's gotta hurt. Man, those mutant traps will kill you faster than one of Brick's farts. And it's first and ten. And he catches it for a touchdown. What a beautiful play. All you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And it's first and ten. He's supercharged and can electrocute any opposing player. He took great play by the defense. It's not too often a quarterback gets rejected. That's why that's the position I originally tried out for. I want to know what it's like for other people to accept you. Now that went from a joke to making me feel feelings. Stop it. This isn't a place to feel feelings. This is football. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has... The offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, win. they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. And it's first and ten. And the defense gets another pick. Man, rough day. Boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it. Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore win. The offense has only one quarterback left. If he dies, it's game over. Uh, this new QB, he don't even look too confident. He's bleeding with the coach on the sidelines about something. Yeah, he's telling his coach to punt. What a pussy. And it's first and ten. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about sharing when he was in school. Oh, man, that's the end of his day. He might want to try hurling those traps next time. And that brings us.
close to the end of the third quarter. They'll need to fire on all cylinders to make a comeback in the final quarter. And it's first and ten. with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, I'm going in circles. And the defense is on his heels. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. He's at the 10. And he runs it in for the touchdown. Two left. He might consider running the ball more. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. Straight through the uprights. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! <laughs> the offense changes the pace by going into a hurry-up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry-up, too? Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know what... Oh, that was a hit. You ever had your lights knocked out like that, Bricks? I'll take the salad, Steve. Wait, where am I? And it's first and ten. And the ball razors through the defense, cutting the defender in half. To the races. Look at this. Oh, he just got pulverized by a mutant trap. Some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Grim? Aren't we all? Nicely done for a first down. And it's first and ten. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. And he just nailed him right on the numbers for a touchdown. Hey, you see that baby? No, you didn't. You know what? You're too fast. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. And he misses that extra point. Oh, well, look at clown shoes down there. Is he wearing actual clown shoes? I think so. That's probably why he missed. 
The onside kick is a desperation play, but it's their only chance at this point to steal a position. Stealing ain't right, Glenn. It just ain't right. They usually only talk about kickers when they win or lose games. Well, this guy just earned his paycheck, which is typically the amount the quarterback tips on dinner. And it's first and ten. Watching out for that dirty trick. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Prince's ex girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it rabbit. The defender says, I don't think so. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. Oh, what a brutal hit! Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge! That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. That was probably all the diarrhea. No, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad that cursed came to Mexico forever to crack the pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but uh, not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? And the easiest play in the league, and he chokes. Yeah, he's a choker. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. And he just wrestles away from that tackle. And it's first and ten. Starting to click now. A pickup of eight on the play. Second down and two. At this rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions than completions. for excessive celebration. You know, refs really don't want to get too close to the rabid, roided-out monsters. And don't even get me started on the werewolf. The offense lost their last quarterback. Next time their offense comes out on the field, they will have to forfeit the game. They want more points, so they're going for two. Attention, kids, you'll see his steps are making a perfect pentagram. Some of your own demons at home. <laughs> oh, that's painful. Natural Lycans lose at home by forfeit. No, what's really painful? I once rubbed my eye after eating spicy chicken wings. Also chopped up a jalapeno pepper and went to take a pee. Oh, I was on fire. They battled hard, but still got their butts handed to them. Gross. I hope there weren't any orc butts involved. I kind of like orc butts, especially with some Deshaun mustard and a smoked pickle relish. Not bad slipping. Let's go down to the field and see what the game's MVP thinks of today's outcome. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.